Okay, so this is my first YouTube video, so I'm trying to still figure things out. I look like a hot mess right now, but I have my base and my eyebrows and my eyes primed and set. And so I went to Ulta, my favorite place ever, and I got pretty much the entire I Love Sarah E. X Dose of Colors collection. And I'm going to unbox it here and uh, try it on my face. I'm going to follow a tutorial I found on YouTube because I've been looking at a lot of them by Jackie Ina. And I'm kind of going to do what she did and then tell you what I think about it. So let me unbox this stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, so I unboxed all of this stuff. And first we have the palette. I'm loving the palm tree stuff. If I'm looking over here, it's because um, my screen is that way. I'm just making sure you can see it. So it's got the palm trees and then what's on the back. And so you have to be very careful opening this because it doesn't have a plastic protector over it. And whenever I got my first one, the blue exploded all over me. And then I went to get another one and it was broken too. So if you do buy this, I would um, open it right outside the store and make sure the blue's not broken because I guess it's softer than the others. But let me find the brush I want to use. I'm going to use this fluffy blending brush from Morphe. And I'm going to take this first color right here. I'm just going to put that on the crease of my eye, which is basically just up here on both sides. So I'm dipping into that. I'm going to bounce off the excess. And then you see how things go. This palette only has two mattes in it, but... I still think the colors are beautiful and you can still do a lot of stuff with it. Every tutorial I've watched on YouTube, there's a bunch of different stuff and endless things, even for just six colors. I'm going to do the other eye. Mm -hmm. Let me just go back over that to deepen it up. And since I kind of have hooded eyes, I like to take the, this called a transition color further up so that you can actually see it because when I open my eyes see how there's not much lid space so that's why I like to take it further up and then do the other side again see it just gives it more color when you go back over it all right put that brush down let me get another one Let's see, I'll take this smaller one by EcoTools. It came in a set of four and they're just double-ended, so that's why there's four. I'm gonna take this darker shade. Um, I don't know what, it might be called, I have no idea what it's called, because the colors are on the back and it's hard to tell which one is which, but it's just this darker, peachy, burnt, orangey kind of shade. And I'm gonna put that a little bit lower than that first color and just kinda I like to tap it here first so it doesn't get crazy and then just kind of blend it out like this. I'm going to go over it again like I did the first one. Okay, do the other eye. And if you hear that tapping, it's me just tapping my mirror so I get the excess color off because when I dip into it, I don't want pigment. I just got to tap it off a little so that way we don't get a little crazy and then I'm just going to close my eye and kind of be messy with it a little bit and then go back over it with the other one So this is what it looks like so far. And then I'm going to add the shimmers on. Let's blend it out more. Alright, now with this blue color, I'm going to take it with my finger. And the blue color is called Palma. I can tell because that one's on the bottom and the middle, so that's why. I don't know if I'm saying that. Palma? Palma? I don't, I don't know how to say it. Um, but I'm going to take this with my finger. And this is just one touch. Look at that. That is crazy. I'm going to put that on my eye. I'm going to close it. Here, let me go up so you can see. And that was just, I touched it one time. That's crazy. I 
I'm just literally just tapping it with my finger being very careful so I don't get lots of fallout. And then it's all over the lid and then I'll go in with a brush and I'll blend it out. And I still have so much left on my finger, that's crazy. Alright, I'm going to dip in one more time. I go to the other eye. Tapping it on. Very beachy, vacationy. I love the colors in this. Okay, let's see. Alright, that's what it looks like so far. And I'm going to take a flat shader brush. This one's is from BH Cosmetics. I got it in a kit of like 30. And I'm just going to dip into the blue shade and deepen it. I may spray it with Fix Plus in a second. We'll see. Um, just because that tends to work better with shimmers. And just kind of... I may not need it though since this color is basically just like pigment and glitter. to the other eye. I am going to spray it with some Fix Plus just so I can see what it looks like. I'm going to put the brush on both sides. I'm going to do this side and then this side. Just wiggle around in there. And that way I don't have to dip in twice. I just spray both sides of the brush. Let me open this actually. There we go. Alright. And then, oh, I got all over my mirror. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna pat it on. And I'm spraying it by Max Fake Mac. Mac Fix Plus just makes the pigment in the color stand out even more. Makes it a little bit darker, shows up better. But you don't, you can skip that stuff if you don't have it, or if you don't really want to do that. Flips it to the other side, into my other eye. Or you can also put concealer on your eye before you do the blue, but it's whatever. So now this blue is all over my brush. I'm just going to go like that so I can clean up more later. And then I'm going to get a new brush. This one's from Ulta. I got it for free when you spend 20 something dollars in a, and get a free bag from them. This is another flat shader brush. And I'm going to take hmm, Poquito Moss, which is this first shade right here. And first I'm going to do it with my finger. That's what Jackie Ina did. And, uh, Go over the blue. I just think that'd be really pretty. She called it like an icy pink, and that's what it is. It's like a silvery, icy, pinky kind of vibe. And I really like that. Oh, sorry, you can see what I was doing. It was too low. I have this set up on my desk in my dorm, so. Just go over that, and then I'm going to use a brush. Dip into that. That's really pretty. Kind of tones down the blue a little bit. Alright. And then I'm going to take Poquito Moss and put it underneath my, on my brow bone. And so that's where I don't do it here and I, and I just do it like right here. And I'm also going to take some and put it in my inner corners. Which is right here. And 
And then I'm going to take the other end of this Eco Tools brush. Looks like this. And I'm going to take first uh, what I use for the transition. I'm going to take this color. Go kind of dab it. Go back and forth with it. And then put it right underneath my lower lash line. My eyes are kind of probably going to look crazy trying to do this. It just brings the whole eye look together. And I'm going to take the darker shade and not take it as far in as I did the lighter shade. And just put it on that outer lower lash line. I'm just going to stamp it first. And then I'll blend it out. And then I'm going to go back in over those transition colors just to complete this. Taking the lighter shade first, bring it up. I'm going to use that other brush I had. Taking the darker shade and just kind of deepening it up more. get more of that blue just a little. It's gorgeous. Basically doing redoing everything I did in the beginning. Bam. Now, I'm going to do my eyeliner off camera, just because I feel like I can get too nervous and mess up. But I'm, what I'm going to try, I got this little black liner haul from Ulta. And what's really cool about it, it has a cat eye stamp. I probably, I might do that today, I don't know. I might try it if I don't have makeup on, on bare skin, just to see how it works out so I don't mess up all my eyes. So I'll probably just use this felt tip liner and line my eyes and then see what I want to do. And then I'll be back. Okay, so all I use okay, so all I used was this felt tip liner and it's literally a dream come true. Oh my gosh, dare I compare it to being better than my Stila one? I don't know, but literally I'm horrible at eyeliner and I did wings today. Fearlessly. Fearlessly. Oh my gosh. I could rave about this. I'll probably do a separate video on this. This was good. I might even compare it to this in there, maybe one eye, one eye, the other one, and maybe I'll even use this, we'll see, but anyway, I'm going to, now, since that one was so good, use this gel eyeliner, and I'm going to do my waterline and tight line, so waterline is going to be like, right where your eyes close, here and here, and I'm just going to tight line, which means putting the black there so that there's not like a space of skin, and it just looks all black. So, I might look kind of gross, but we'll see. Oh, it's hard to do this. Okay. That's one eye. I'll do the other one. I kind of have to, like, ugh, get it. And then whenever I do my bottom, I only take it in about this far. Like if I'm looking straight, right where the green part of my eye is, I don't take it all the way in just because I don't want to look like a raccoon. And then 
my eyes get water and it comes out and just looks gross. So just do it at the bottom, like right, maybe even a third way in. Let's see. You can kind of see it. I don't think this one is as good. I just washed it on my hand. Or maybe my eyes are just watery, so it's not showing up. We just have to go a little bit harder on it. Okay, that was a little better. Alright. Next, what I'm going to do is curl my lashes. And I'll do that off camera. And then I'll tell you what mascara I'm going to use. Because my camera only has five minutes left. Alright, for mascara today, I'm using my favorite, which is NYX Double Stack, and it comes in a set with this and some fibers. So what I like to do first, I tried to zoom in my camera, I just need a new one, um, but you, cause you can't really, when I get up close, it's not very HD. But anyway, what I like to do is go to the root and wiggle the brush, kind of back and forth, don't get too close because it'll get on your eyelid. You don't want that. I'll probably do a video about what to do when you mess up on your makeup too. Because that's happened to me so many times. I'm basically an expert on how to fix it. Then go to the other side. Wiggle. And then what I do after that. I take this white stuff. It's basically just fiber. It looks like cotton. And I go over it. That's why it's called double set because you do two coats. And you put this white stuff on your eyelashes. I'll put some on my lower too just because. And then you take the mascara again and it will be insanely amazing. Long, full, wonderful. And then also by getting at the root and wiggling, it kind of curls your lashes too. So that way they kind of boop and look really good. forget how much I love this mascara until I use it again because I have like 10 all right now I'm gonna pick my lip color and the highlight and then I'll be back again because my, my camera only has three minutes all right so I swatched out my arm I have horrible lighting in my dorm room but the top one is bathe and the bottom one is soulmate I believe yeah and Bathe is more pinky, icy pink, and Soulmate is more golden. I'm going to use Bathe today because it goes better with my skin tone. I'll maybe try Soulmate another time. But I use this Real Techniques brush. I think it's actually an under eye brush. I just kind of go back and forth. And then I'm going to do my highlight. I did my contour earlier, part of my base. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. I've seen other people say the same thing about this. I get my top lip, Cupid's bow, and then I like to go up here. And then sometimes I'll even just go like that for what the heck. And some people go my chin. And some people even go as far as to getting their chest like this. I never really do this, but for whatever I will. And you can see it better because I have a window over here. But that is gorgeous oh my gosh i'm gonna rave about all of this i'll probably do an overall review about it too and so for the lip color today i have all of them except brio and brio was the glittery gloss but i have a kylie one so i didn't really need that one so i think i'm gonna i'm going to a coffee shop and then my birthday party today i just dropped one so we'll see i'll pick a lip color and then i'll be back Alright, so I'm going to go with Peachy today. I swatched it on my hand really quick, and there's the cat eye stamp uh, that I'll probably look at later. This Bare Minerals lip liner is what I'm going to use, 
and I'm going fast because my camera only has one minute left of space. So, I don't know if you can see me line my lips, but I'll hold the camera down. Line the entire bottom. Make an X at the top. Could I just go down? And my lips are slightly uneven, like this side and this side don't really match. And then just kind of line the top, like and make small lines. And then, now for the moment of truth, I'm going to take what's on my hand first so I don't waste it. And pat it on. And do my lips. Okay, so this is the final look. I'm gonna put some hoop earrings on and a necklace. And look at this. I just love how this turned out. This glow is everything. And this lip color, I'm really liking it. It kind of smells like cake when you open it. Like a sweet, but also like a like new plastic kind of. Kind of like a liquid lipstick, but also like cake. If that sounds gross, it actually smells alright. It smells kind of good. And uh, I'm really loving this in this eyeshadow is everything. I'm loving the blue and the orange together. It's beautiful. So thank you for bearing with me for my first tutorial. I just dropped the lipstick. Oops. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching this first video and dealing with me. I'm going to try to get a new camera and some lighting, but I am in my college dorm, so I'm doing the best I can. And my name is Heather, and thank you so much.